I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and in this video we will explore the scale that Eric Clapton used to play his really fast bluesy licks. I'm gonna play such lick, then we're going to explain the scale he uses and then I'll show you how to play, play the lick note by note. So here's the lick we'll explore. <laughs> So these style of licks are being played by Eric Clapton a lot and it's all derived from a combined blue scale. So if you know the blue scale and the key of A, you know that we are playing a hexatonic scale, so a six tone scale. But he adds here the ninth to the scale which is exactly the same as the second note of the scale so since we are here in the key of A the ninth or the second note would be the B note. So we, if we add this note to the blue scale then we get a sort of a combined blue scale, a hybrid blue scale. <laughs> So it's actually a heptatonic scale, so it exists out of seven tones, this scale. And it's great to experiment with, but it's also great to learn the Eric Clapton style licks first and then to experiment with those type of licks. And we will essentially look at three licks that form the bigger lick that I just played for you. So let's get started with uh, the second lick. And uh, it's exactly, like I said, the first part of the fast lick that I played. So here you can follow along with the tablature. I'm playing this part first. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes. I'm playing and I'm starting out with the notes here on the B string. I'm playing a little hammer-on from 5 to 8 with the index and here the third finger. And then I'm doing the same on the high E string on frets 5 and 7. Again a hammer-on, but I'm also pulling off to the string again. And so I'm only hitting the string once to play the hammer-on and the pull-off on the string. Just make sure you don't, uh, you know, have the string going off the, the neck. And you do this by putting more pressure on the index finger so the string stays at the same level here in place. So here we can pull, pull off the finger uh, without being uh, afraid that you lose the string and you pull it off the fretboard. And then we play the uh, eighth fret on the B string again. And then we go to the fifth fret on the high E string. So this is the first part of this longer, fast uh, Eric Clapton style lick. All right. And then you will also see that I notated this part here, the right hand part, which is really important to get a chunky uh, rock feel. Uh, is how you pick this uh, lick, but we will explore this uh, later in the video. Let's go on to the second lick that is part of this longer lick. So we have this thing here. You can also follow along with the tablature again. You can see that I'm pulling off from the 8th fret to the 5th fret here. Again, make sure that the index finger is holding the string tightly. So you don't pull it off the fretboard or you don't pull the string out of its normal neutral state. And then we play the blue note here on the G string, which is the 8th fret. And then we go back to the B string 5th fret. So the first four notes are this. And then we have a little slide from the blue note into the 7th fret. And then we pull off 
and the same motion so without hitting the string again to the fifth fret and this part is crucial to get it right so uh, as you can see I'm placing both my third finger and my first finger here on the string before I start and in reality the index finger might come a bit later here but the most important part here is that the index finger stays on this G string and it travels um, to the fifth fret at the same time as we perform the slide from the blue note here at the eighth fret to the seventh fret. Why is this? Because if you don't place the index finger on this string, then you won't be able to pull it off and this finger won't be there in time for the pull off. So here I'm just playing the slide from eight to seven and then the pull off here because the index finger is there on time. So this is a crucial part, the index finger travels with the ring finger on this G string. So it's right here when we need it for the pull off. And then I'm playing the 7th fret on the D string and the 5th fret on the G string. So the second part of the lick is being played like this. Alright, and if you get this, these two parts right, then you can glue them together and you get this. And of course it will take some practice. This is the same thing with playing f all other fast legs. You first need to get them into your fingers. You need to practice the motions first bec before you can play them faster, of course. And then the last part of the lick is this. So you can see also the second measure is notated here in the tablature so we can follow along. It's a pull off on the G string from 7 to 5. Then I'm playing the D string 7th fret and going back to the G string 5th fret. So it's essentially a little sequence here. And then I'm doing two pull offs on the D string from 7 to 5. Then I'm playing the 7th fret on the A, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the A string. And then the 5th fret on the D string. And then I'm sliding from the 7th to the 5th fret on the A string. Again, make sure that the index finger is also on that string. And it travels along with the 3rd finger because we need that index finger to be in place here at the third fret when we do the pull off because we only hit the string once to play three notes here we have this going on so it's a slide from seven to five and then I pull off my third finger so I get the index finger here uh, when the pull off is done here on the third fret so it's And then I'm doing a pull off again on the same string from five to three. And I'm playing the root note. And if you practice all these licks separately, these three licks at a slow pace, uh, you get them under your fingers. It will take some practice, of course. Then you can accelerate more, but don't try to get the speed in there because you first have to learn the fingerings for this lick and I hope you appreciate the lick here and if you do so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also check out the free downloadable guide to my website about how to master fast blues guitar licks where I explain seven really important fast blues licks note by note